Alrighty, we made our way back to this route. This lady's brand new. She asked us to defeat three trainers on this route in order to face off against her. And when we face off against her, she's going to give us a, an item that we can send to our full version. So that's one thing that we're going to be doing right now into this route. We're going to do the three trainer challenge uh, where we get to face off against the last remaining trainer. Um, we're basically going to be uh, finding three different trainers. And the reason why, for those of you that tuned into the first part of this demo version, uh, you'll notice that I saved one of the trainers, which I could have fought earlier, but I saved him. Uh, and the reason being is for this video itself. Um, he's part of the three trainers that we have to defeat. This guy is basically just telling me about these dragon types that we get to do in the trial. So he doesn't really do too much. But this is the first trainer out of the three that we get to face off against uh, in order to fight or a fight, yeah, fight against or battle against the trainer female that we first saw when we adventured into this route. So, Peaky Peck! I actually really like the models uh, of the Sun and Moon Pokemon. Peaky Peck has grown on me. I didn't really, I wasn't too fond about it at first. I mean, I thought Pidgey even looked cooler, even though Pidgey's just a regular Pokemon. Uh, but Peaky Peck looks pretty damn cool, and I'm happy about it. Because this trainer's got two different Pokemon, so what does that mean? Uh, if we can defeat Peaky Peck, my Greninja turns into Ash Greninja for the second Pokemon. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we did use Water Shirk and hit three times. Uh, did roughly about 90, 85-ish uh, percent of the damage on the HP charge for Peaky Peck. And uh, Peaky Peck just going with pecking, pecking it up. What else is it going to do? And it did quite a lot of damage. And I'm kind of scared. It hit five total times. So I wasn't happy about that at all. So... We're going to use Aerial Ace just to uh, showcase a little bit of a different action. Again, I'm tired of using Water Shuriken all the time, so I thought I would just use Aerial Ace just to check it out. But again, uh, Destiny Bond going to be changing our Greninja into Ash Greninja, which is pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So now that we're Ash Greninja, we got a little bit of a minor coolness buff, and we're facing off against a Rock Ruff anyway. So again, I'm going back to Water Shuriken. And the reason why we're going back to Water Shuriken is because a Rock Ruff is a rock type dog. Don't ask me how this fluffy thing is a rock type. Don't don't know, don't care, but it is a rock type. So we killed it. Yay! Oh, we made it faint for those of you guys that are keen on the kill word in Pokemon. So we're gonna be making our way over here. This was a lady that we spoke to earlier that told us about Pokemon trainers. When you catch an eye on them, they fight you. And this is the guy that I saved for this part of the video earlier. Again, I could have fought him earlier. He only has one Pokemon. So not too much to worry about from this guy, especially the Pokemon that he actually has. Uh, the Pokemon he has on his team is a Rock Ruff, so it should be a very easy kill with Water Shuriken from our Greninja. Sadly though, we don't get to see Ash Greninja because he only has one Pokemon, but that's okay. Let me know what you guys think, though, about the layout. Again, uh, this is my very first time actually recording. This isn't my first time recording, as you guys can see in the playlist of this series. Uh, my very first demo playlist was video recording was just terrible, um, but I've kind of changed it a little bit, and I hope it's a little bit better. Um, again, it's only going to get better from here on out. The Tuma Champ are blocking entrance into the cave, so... F them, but we're going to be making our way back out because there's really nothing to do up there anymore. We're going to go ahead and use the B-dash in order to block us, uh, ram through those, and ram through this big rock here, and then we're going to face off against the third and final trainer within this route and within this series. So the third and final trainer here is going to be a male trainer with two different Pokemon. He's got a Peaky Peck and a Young Goose. Starting off with the Peaky Peck, uh, we're going to be going with our Greninja. This is the only Pokemon, again, that we have for the remainder of this series. And if you haven't noticed, uh, within the demo, the Greninja doesn't go higher than level 37. We're going to go ahead and use Night Slash this time. It does a lot of damage, so I was very happy about that. Uh, Night Slash is a cool move as well. And, wow, that Peaky Peck, it, the, both Peaky Pecks from both trainers, putting in work on my Greninja. I am not too happy about that at all because I really don't want to go to the uh, Pokemon Center right now. So the Peaky Peck has been taken care of. Uh, De uh, Battle Bond, Destiny Bond is going to be changing Gr uh, Greninja into Ash Greninja. So we get the cool Greninja now for the remainder of this fight. Again, it is a Young Goose. So... I am going to be using, because uh, I want to take this over with quickly, Water Shuriken. And Water Shuriken goes and fits well with uh, Ash Greninja anyway. So, just like Mokes Young Goose, it only took 
uh, one shot from our wider shuriken, well, not one shot, but three shots from the wider shuriken, but one move from the wider shuriken in order to annihilate it. So all three trainers have been completed. We're going to be making our way back to the beginning of the route and uh, got to get through this boulder and this boulder here as well. But go back to the beginning of the route in order to finally take on the trainer that wouldn't allow us to fight her until we defeated three other trainers on this route. So, without further ado, let's get into this. And I really love the Pokemon that she has, so I'm glad she was the last one and saved her last. Because the Pokemon she has, again, we got to face off against Jungmo again, which is the Dragon-type Pokemon. Again, it looks cool. Not too keen about the head. Looks like a freaking brain's popping out of it, a glowy brain, but I, I, it's, it's still cool. I love the evolutions of this Pokemon. And again, Dragon-type Pokemon, super pro about. So, we're going to try to take uh, out this Pokemon as quickly as possible. But again, those Peaky Pecks did some work on me. So, I'm going to have to use a Super Potion here to help out my buddy Greninja in order to face off against the second Pokemon after this guy. Because the second Pokemon after this one, it, it's, it's not an easy one. You gotta bear with me there. It's not an easy one because uh, type differences. So Greninja is gonna be taking on uh, using Water Shuriken on the Dragon type. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it was a stupid move by me because the Water Shuriken is not very effective against this Dragon type. But I lucky enough, I got a crit and it hit a total of five times. So lucky me. If it only hit twice, that was that would have been stupid by me. So I'm I apologize again. D to D for the Winatashi came into play and used a not so very effective move against another Pokemon. So we're going to end it off with a Night Slash. So again, at least we get to see all three moves, yeah? Um, so yeah, we're going to be using Night Slash to finish off that one. We finally get to go into Astro Ninja mode because we are going to need it. Because we're about to face off against something so threatening that the whole world about to shake, son. It's a Pikachu. And the only reason why it's threatening is because it's Electric type against my Water type. And I'm going to use Night Slash because I know it's a baller move. It does so much damage. And look at that. It was almost a one-shot. Pikachu using an Electro Ball. So it's going to do a lot of damage. Almost takes me out. Wow. What would I have done if I lost there? I would have not have been happy. But again, Night Slash is going to finish it off. We completed the four trainer trial. That That's what I'm going to call this. The four trainer trial. And uh, she's going to give us a random item that we could send to our full version of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And that random item is a... What is it? It's a star piece. So we get to send a star piece to the full version of the game. So I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. We got one more thing that we can do within the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. So I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in and stay tuned for that.